Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. I'm going to be offering my brief commentary right after this quick clip. Peace. Just being this person, being that rock star. And it's hard because it just be like, damn, I don't want to stop it and the fans stop loving me. It was like, mm -hmm. it's like me taking a chance on like when I was, I didn't want to tell nobody I stopped drinking lean. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to tell because I felt like, damn, they're going to be like, oh, his music changed because he ain't drinking lean no more. Oh, I can hear it when he changing. It's just like, and people are like, damn, why you don't even say it? It's like, but it just be hard when your fans so used to you certain kind of, a certain kind of way as that certain persona, mm -hmm. you be afraid to change. Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. So if you listen to the very short snippet of Future saying that he really didn't want to disclose that he has stopped drinking lean himself. And my my thoughts were, well, you know, at least the brother is disclosing it now. He's brave enough to come before the world and admit at that particular time of his development, you know, he, he wasn't honest enough he wasn't truthful enough but that's okay you know i i commend and i applaud him for coming out now and saying that and you know we all are at different stages of growth and development in our lives and and, and uh, evolution and our creator helps to evolve a stage out the stage our life is full of twists and turns, hills and valleys, mountains and ditches until we reach our eventual perfection. Future is a young brother who has millions of young people looking and listening to him so you know I heard the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan say you know these young brothers didn't ask for this but they've been given a great assignment from the creator and as future evolves hopefully he will grow to understand the importance of those who follow him, who want to aspire to be like him. He should desire and we should desire for those who listen and look at us to evolve also. Right? What good is it if I've cleaned up my life or you have cleaned up your life or, or you're living a better life? But the people who follow us remain in the mud in the mire of civilization what good is it if our young brothers are on the K2 on the mollies huh? heavy on the liquor heavy on this synthetic weed that's laced with THC that we're being killed from so many angles. And brothers and sisters, you are so much more valuable than those drugs. Oh, man. You're so majestic. You're so valuable to the God. Yes, some of these drugs, some of these cigarettes, they have nicotine in it they might have something in there that gives you a little buzz a little a uh, good feeling possibly for a little bit i don't know i personally never experienced uh smoking or drinking that wasn't my vice my vice was shooting dice <laughs> i had to overcome that when i was growing up i was always the type excuse me for getting off topic but i was always the type that wanted to get some money you know i always had that ambition that drive in me 
And I found myself a lot of times not even wanting to be in class in the public school system. Cause I'm like, man, so they can miss me with that. I'm finna go get to some money, right? So I was never the type to experiment with the drugs, but I had to overcome shooting dice. That was like a drug to me. But when I begin to understand and come into a greater love for my people, my last time shooting dice, I took all my friend money and I gave it all back to him, right? That's how I knew I was coming alive because I didn't like the feeling that I got from, I was feeling good, but my brother wasn't, right? So once we come into a greater love for ourselves, it's just certain things that we used to do that we understand, man, don't, that's really beneath us. Smoking and drinking, brothers and sisters, is beneath y'all. Why do you say that, Brother Monroe? Because, brothers and sisters, we only got one life to live. And we shouldn't waste it away with a cigarette that discloses to us on the box the chances of it harming us. You are valuable, brothers and sisters. I don't care. If your mother's not in your life, your father, you, if you don't have nobody that tell you they love you. Brother Monroe loves you and our creator loves you. Each and every one of you. You are perfect in your makeup. The creator did not leave any greatness out of you. It's in all of us. In some of us, it's buried under life experience is buried off uh, uh, someone telling us what you couldn't do, what I or we could not do. So a lot of times we find pleasure or enjoyment or temporary or temporal satisfactions and things that give us temporary gain, a temporary relief. But we have to come back to reality. Like that, like that song say, back to life, back to reality. That's real, brothers and sisters. That's real. The liquor don't do nothing for our bodies, for our mind. In fact, a lot of alcoholics or a lot of people who get tipsy, they lose control sometimes. Well, that's... Uh, come on, brothers and sisters. We bet we greater than that. You you won... The, the way that the God created you, you won hundred. We just got to tap into it. And once we begin to focus on goals and objectives, then we start to... Push the frivolous things of life over to the side. Once you understand your divinity and your divine purpose, then you start and we start to move and maneuver a certain way. Once the spirit of our creator is uh, lit in us, once we own one. So I say that to say this, brothers and sisters, put down the cigarettes, put down the weed. You are better than that. That's beneath you. Anything that you want, brothers and sisters, the universe, as I heard the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan say, is willing to, to give it to us. It's like that child that's full of faith. When it comes into the, to the world, it doesn't know how to speak. But it knows that it's some substance waiting on it. It knows that it's substance in the mother's breast for the child. But the child has to have the faith to keep nibbling, to keep suckling from that breast. It might not get that colostrum at first, but it has to keep suckling. Huh? 
That's like us, brothers and sisters. We got to have enough faith in ourselves, faith in our creator, faith in our journey that we have been on to keep pushing, to overcome our hardships in life. And we'll eventually be rewarded in God's good time, brothers and sisters. So, you know, I, I didn't do I didn't do this audio visual to beat up on future because he's on his own journey as we are all on our own journeys. But I just want to let you know, brothers and sisters, that each one of y'all is superbly invaluable, meaning that there's not enough materialism. There's not enough wealth and riches that the earth produces that can equate to one of you. All of the gold and silver in, in this world, you know how I, I value and I treasure in y'all and we should treasure in each other and in, in ourselves. It's not enough money that the enemy could pay me. He could put a million dollars in front of me and God willing, I would not betray the aspirations of one of you all I would not put that money or materialism above any one of y'all I don't care the least among our people I can't rise above the least among our people we can't rise above the least among our people so I'm glad that brother future came out and he's just being honest man so Let's not go in on the brother. I know it's a lot of people, they hear stuff like that and they immediately get to criticizing um, brother. And I hope that my last audio about Terry Crews that I wasn't too um, hearty in my passion in the way I was conveying my message because that's not my sentiment to be against any of our brothers or sisters. And his, his experience should be supported um, and he should feel as though he has our support. All our people should because at the end of the day, we all we got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When it really come down to it. So, um, I I'm proud of Brother Future for admitting that. You know, we sh whenever somebody comes out before the world and they admit that they did not do something that they them own they their own selves did but yet their followers still think they are a certain way well that's okay that that that's that's, that's that displays growth that he's able to disclose that information so we got to stop being so critical of one another so harsh on one another and Learn to love deeper. You know, our communities in the inner cities are plagued with drugs. But that's by design, brothers and sisters, because the enemy doesn't want us to tap into our unlimited power. He knows that these different vices stifle and stunt our evolutionary growth into our greater selves. He knows that these vices temporarily take us from reality and places us to a certain degree in, in a virtual existence. But we always have to come back to this journey called life brothers and sisters so I'm not here to preach I just want to let y'all know each one of y'all brothers and sisters you're better and bigger and greater than the cigarettes and the weed and the liquor and I'm glad that brother future came before the world to disclose that man I, I salute and I commend and I applaud our brother for sharing those words with us 
as we are all striving to be better or we should be striving to be better than we were yesterday. The scripture says if we take a few steps toward our creator, that he'll take a few steps towards us, meaning that opportunities will be open to us. Doors will be open if we would just knock properly. Huh? And allow our creator to come in and sup with us. Well, he, well, what do you mean? He's in you, brothers and sisters. You are gods and female gods. We are gods, children of the most high God. All we got to do is be our righteous selves. You know when we doing wrong, it's something in us that eat at our core. Because we're God's people. So, our brother Future, I, I hope that he continues to evolve and grow from this lesson called life. And, uh, Let's keep pushing, brothers and sisters. Let's keep all working on ourselves. None of us are so holy or righteous that we can look down on another person. As we have to learn how to look past each other's faults and flaws and see the need of each other the scripture says let he who is chief among you let him be your servant and man some of the greatest human beings are those who put service over self so salute to you brother future and uh, may our creator continue to bless you brother on your journey that hopefully you will inspire by your life and your transparency and your growth and your elevation that you will inspire your fans and your followers to do better brother this is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off peace